Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use easybib.com for a photograph or a painting that you might find as part of our, or excuse me, as part of the image component of our current events journals. So first you're going to see that I'm at easybib.com, exactly where you were when you were doing your citations uh, for the two articles that you found. Um, let me just kind of quickly walk you through what you're going to do for a photo, what you're going to do for a painting. So let's say that I am at oop, the National Geographic, here we go, the National Geographic Photography website that is one of our approved images resources. And I come across, let's say, this image right here. I'm going to say this is the image that I feel captures my feelings towards the topic I selected. So here is this beautiful, gorgeous image. After I've copied it into my OneNote, I'm now going to create my citation. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to EasyBib. Now in EasyBib, I'm on MLA8, which as we know is what we're going to be using. But I'm not actually going to be citing a website. I'm going to be citing a photograph. So I'm actually going to scroll down, and there it is, photo. And we're going to give EasyBib just a second to sort of load up here. And now what I'm going to do is it's not a photo that I've seen. It's actually a photo from a website. So I'm going to click website. And now I'm ready to actually insert the information. Now, this is not a personal photograph. Let me go now find the, uh, the photo title. Looks like the photo title is the place. So let's go ahead and just copy that. Here we go. Pop that in. There's no collection that this comes from. It's not in a museum. See a place where the photo is located. Well, again, this is from a website, so it's not something that we actually know there. The date created, let's see if we can find anything there. Nope, nothing there about the date that this photo was taken. So now we go down to contributors. Okay, let's make sure we get that. It looks like Alessandro Mari is the photographer. So let's go ahead. Alessandro. Mari, awesome, and website title, great. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and say National Geographic is the website title. See if I can get all this in before I have to charge. The publisher or sponsor, well, we, we know what to do there, so just go back here, blah, blah, blah. Go down to the bottom and look, National Geographic Society. Again, I know we know how to do most of this, but I just want to show you again for the photographs. We then click here. This is then the URL. Electronically published, we don't have that information. But it looks like this is then all the information that they're asking us for. We put in what we could. We did not include anything we couldn't find. I go to complete citation. And there we go. There's my citation for the photo. Now, that's only for the photograph. I want to show you how to do it for a painting. So here I am back again on the uh, easybib.com homepage, MLA8. Uh, let's say that this is the painting that I found on the Mets website. This is the death of Socrates. Now, you're going to see there's a lot of information down here. This is information I'm going to add. So first thing first, it's not a website. It's a... Painting. Let's find that. Painting title. Well, we found that information here, so let's go ahead and get it. The Death of Socrates. Collection. Let's see if it says anything. It does not say anything. Let's see what else we can do. Museum. The Metro. Let's see if we get a full title. Yeah, there we go. Here we can find that somewhere. Metropolitan Museum of Art. Location, well, it is New York City. Year created. Let's go find it. There it is, 1787. That's a long time ago. 200 years before I was born. Okay. Contributors. Let's find out who the artist is. Jacques-Louis David. Pardon my accent, which obviously was not good. Jock. 
David. Medium, let's see if we can find that. Oh, oil on canvas, excellent. Public publisher, let's see if we got anything. And uh, we don't have anything for this. So guys, here we go again. Oh, ah, that was a mistake. Should have clicked our website. It keeps all the information. Now I just add the website title. Website title is the Met Publisher or Sponsor, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. The URL right here. And electronically published, we don't have that information. So here we go. Now I have everything. I simply click complete citation. And boom, there it is. Check that out right there. You just copy and paste that into the space provided. All right, guys, hope this helped. Let me know if you have any questions.